Muff the Varden the Muff, the world's greatest puppy and printer. And of course that over there is my partner, King Kodak. Hey Kodak, come here. Come here. Wait. This right here is, is King Kodak. And uh, what we're doing now, we're in a hobby, he and I, what we call treasure hunters. So to start our treasure hunting off, we got us a little shovel, small little shovel that we take out with us. We got us a dagger. I like the shovel more than I like the dagger. Although the dagger tells you how many inches down you can go, and you can cut around. It's just exhausting to me because it I'm a fat guy and I'm an older guy. It takes a lot of work out, out of me just thrusting into the earth, hard crust, when I can just put all of my heavy weight and just go around in a circle. I also got my Mind Lab 35 Pro Finder. Limits my time to uh, searching and me and my guy get out here. Right now today, this is my new toy. I don't even call it a toy. Let's call it a tool. It's my tool that's been giving me a lot of success. I call it, uh, well, I don't, I don't call it, uh, just call it what it is. It's an Equinox 800. One of the best machines on the market from what I've seen. I cut it on. I'll put mine in part two. No, yeah, part two. Balance it out. And I'm gonna show you how easy it is to find coins. I'm always looking for, uh, my, my whole goal is to find gold, but you know, coins keep me going. When you see that, when I see 30 like that, a few coins right up in here. See that number right there? That tells me right there I got a quarter somewhere up in here. It's not that far in the ground. I actually put this quarter down here to get a little practice going. At least I thought I put a quarter in here. There it goes. Put that back in my pocket. And move on to the next. Right there, me. I'm seeing a 13. I'm seeing a quarter. And a penny somewhere around here. I think so. I didn't put that down here. Hey, move. Remember Actually, I think it wasn't a quarter. What it was is that right there. So, 
leave that down. I need to make sure. No, it's, it's, it's a lot of stuff up in there. Let me just see. I'll get, you hear that? That tells me something else right up in here. that in my pocket and I'm gonna keep moving. A weak penny. Now I thought it was a dime but it wasn't at 26, it was around about 20. Sometimes the aluminum foil is off, but I'm thinking that's a dime, a penny. It wasn't. It's a top. There's a quarter. So you see I'm getting tired as it is, getting up and off the ground. This is when you need a little help. Free. There you go right there, that's a nickel. Or either, this is the soda cup top. See that right there? I'm getting 12, 13. Now gold sometimes is for me. 10, 11, 12, 13 could be confusing sometimes, but it's a nickel. And, and how I learned these numbers with my machine and the program, the way I had the program, after I got it set up, I, I, I get out here and I put money on the ground and I start remembering right there see those numbers that's a quarter that's a dime but then it jumped up high made me think of quarter targeting yeah well right there i can see it that's a dime they have different numbers sometimes depending on new money old money you know some stuff made in silver some made in different material. I'm not knowledgeable about what they made out of. I just know how to find it. Right here. Something's right there. Something here. You can see how deep it is. This machine actually tells you how deep. Three inches. But it's a lot of numbers there, so it could be a lot of junk up in there. Looks like my battery must be dying or something. There we go. 
right there, as you see it screaming vibrate. Quarter. As I said, let's put that in my pocket. Let's look one once just a little bit more and we'll call it today. There's a quarter and a dime. Well, I guess that wasn't a quarter diamond. Now, this is what'll come up sometime heavy like a quarter. That's a tool. A socket. A socket set. Let's just sit them to the side. Let's make sure. close to the machine. Right here, something right there. Let's see, let's test that again. show you how I like to use this shovel. So now, I'm going to take my shovel. I'm going to give me a <laughs> pile of dirt up. <laughs> That's it right there. Well, if you want to be a kid where a kid can be a kid, look like that's a Chuck E. Cheese token. Not a quarter. Y'all hear that? Right Make sure there ain't nothing else in the ground because I could have swore it was signaling in two spots, but that's the the 11 inch coil is good, but you get a lot of targets in the smaller coil of six. See how I stuff everywhere around here, like a penny, uh, a penny. Some metal. I don't really want that, but let's just let's just look. Must be pretty deep. Let's see. This says about four inches. Now this this will work good for four inches, but I don't see how see all of that right there. And then I'm gonna pull that up when I can just take the shovel and pull me out a good little pull out of dirt. I knew it was a penny. It was, it was throwing confusing signals. Let's look this one more time and I'm gonna call it today. Now, if we was out in the park, my old dog over there, 
he'll be bringing back the stuff he like. I'm looking for coins, the stuff I like. And he brings back the stuff he like, balls and, and, and other little toys. And we both walk away satisfied. Now, that's confusing. It's a lot of stuff right here in the ground, but I don't hear the sound I like. That's a nickel. That's a, a piece of gold. That's gold. That might be gold. But it ain't sounding off pretty deep. About four or five inches. It's a lot of junk in this yard. I was looking for my favorite sound. The rest of this stuff can stay in the ground. Anyway, we out here treasure hunting. Equinox 800 is a nice machine. Rather you're using the 11 inch coil or the six. Definitely, I wouldn't go anywhere. I wouldn't even want to start my venture without having this. I started a few days without having my um, Pro Finder and uh it was exhausting like i say if you're an older person or you have a little weight on you if you don't like bending down and digging and digging by the time you four, get four or five finds you're ready to give it up you get that pin pointer and a nice little shovel and you can have this, your uh, your dagger with you too as well uh, and you, you'll have some fun finding anyway i hope you enjoyed the video until the next time. Hey, Kodak, did you find anything? Hey, did you find anything? Huh? Did you find anything? Huh? 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 Yes. Yes. Huh? Push it. Yes, I see. Yes. Good boy. Wait. Up the yeah. ass. Up the yeah. ass.